Hi, this is Ken Go of the Oregonian, and here are my three takeaways from the weekend in college football. First, very impressive effort by Oregon State in Friday's Civil War. The Beavers lost 52-42, but they were 36-point underdogs the last spread I saw. They played with pride and purpose. Gary Anderson had them focused. They cut Oregon's lead to three points twice in the second half. I really think they had a lot of Oregon fans a little nervous. Um, so big effort by the Beavers, good performance, good springboard into next season. Um, that said, the Beavers still did finish the season 2-10. and 10. They're winless in the Pac-12. Now, Anderson gets a pass on that for the most part. These were Mike Riley's players. He recruited them. They didn't fit Anderson's system. And a lot of them really didn't seem to have some buy-in or didn't have much buy-in on, on what Anderson was preaching, uh, especially late in the season. Uh, so uh, Anderson escapes blame for the most part on, on what happened and what was a, by any stretch of the imagination a poor season even with the way that the Civil War finished. Now as the time goes on uh, Anderson can use Riley less and less as an excuse for what happened. Um, next year we should see a step up. A number of these holdover players are going to be gone. They're going to be Riley's guys. I don't think we need to expect perfection. We don't need to expect contention. I don't even think we need to expect a bull team, but I think it's reasonable to expect a step forward. Number two, Oregon. Uh, not a good performance, especially on defense in the Civil War. Um, I wrote uh, in my column for the Saturday's Oregonian that um, I don't think Oregon belongs in a major bowl game. I think the potential is there should Oregon get to a a big time bowl game of an embarrassing loss. I don't like the way Oregon's defense is playing. That said, I think it's been a pretty good season. Nine and three, um, changing quarterback, uh, inexperience in key positions on defense, and still Oregon managed to win the last six games of the season, uh, have some momentum. I think the best thing that could happen for the Ducks would be to get into a mid-level bowl game, uh, play a team they can outscore and uh, clear the decks uh, for 2016, spend the offseason getting the defensive problems fixed. I don't think that necessarily means firing Don Pelham or the defensive coaching staff, but clearly uh, some time and effort needs to go into what went wrong on defense in 2015 and how to fix it. And lastly, uh, Portland State had a bye in the FCS playoffs. Um, they, Vikings will play in the second round at 7.05 p.m. in in uh, Providence Park against Northern Iowa, which just whomped Eastern Illinois. Should be a good game. Um, it's the playoffs. It, it's why I really prefer the FCS postseason to, to the FBS. Uh, best teams play head-to-head, -head, win in advance, loser, you're out. That's the way I think the college football postseason should be, not this silly, uh, phony four-team college football playoff and a lot of bowl games that are more designed for uh, attracting big TV audiences and, and fans who will travel and, and less concerned with getting the best teams head to head. So this is Ken Go with the Oregonian and those are my three takeaways from the weekend in college football.